I'm Cordy Terrio in Edmonton, and a fractious debate over race has arisen following the verdict in the Gerald Stanley trial. But it's not the only conversation that has arisen. Many people are now questioning just how far should property owners be allowed to go in order to protect themselves. I think a lot of people can truly say, you can take everything I own, just don't take my, you know, my family. Small town Alberta has seen a spike in bad behavior in recent years, with only Saskatchewan having a higher per capita rural crime rate. But the president of Alberta's Rural Crime Watch Association preaches vigilance, not vigilantism, when it comes to protecting farms and acreages. Make, make sure stuff is locked up. Make sure you know their stuff is is properly identified. We never recommend that someone uh, you know pull out a weapon um, to you know protect yourself. Whatever they they need to take, it's only an item. It's a message the group is reiterating in the wake of the Gerald Stanley trial. In Saskatchewan, the verdict had seemingly emboldened groups like Farmers with Firearms, whose members say they will take matters into their own hands if RCMP response is delayed. But Tichkowski doesn't believe the verdict will elicit a similar action in Alberta. Wait and see what happens off it, but I, I don't. There's individuals here in, in uh, Alberta that, that I'm aware of that have that philosophy, but uh, such as organization, none that I'm aware of. To that end, the Crime Watch Association, its 56-member groups, and the RCMP are set to sign a Memorandum of Understanding in Edmonton on Thursday that will better define their relationship. With Dichkowski adding that his group knows that Mounties are doing their best. We don't take stance of going, you know, you're not responding fast enough to these, uh, because some places they are. You know, I, I really believe that some places are extremely happy with the, the cooperation and response from their detachment. Other places aren't. The Crime Watch group believes the solution might ultimately lie with the courts. Tichkowski believes stiffer measures could curb the growing crime trend and potentially save lives. Unfortunately, all they get is a small you know, slap on the wrist or it's lost within the justice system and you know, a short time later they're back doing the same crime. For City News, I'm Courtney Terrio in Edmonton.